the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 139, Job 32 to 37. Awaiting the days to stand before God. The dialogue between Job and his friends that was drawing a parallel took a turn with Elias' remarks and prepared the way for God's words. First point, Job's other friend Elihu joined the argument. Now to jump into picture was Elihu who suddenly had a lot to say. Elihu not only condemned Job, but he also condemned Job's three friends. According to Elihu, the three friends did not get the point exactly and so had provided long interpretations. And now, he started to speak of his own theory and interpretations. So these three men stopped answering Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. But Elihu, son of Barakel, the Bujaites of the family of Lam, became very angry with Job for justifying himself rather than God. He was also angry with the three friends because they had found no way to refute Job, and yet had condemned him. Elihu spoke about God's wisdom and his sources on this matter. Elihu was the youngest in the group, but he claimed that his words were correct, and that now it was his turn to tell them the real reason of Job's suffering. Second point, Elihu claimed that humans did not have a right to speak out to God, the Creator. Elihu claimed that the three friends' theories were limited and that Job was suffering because of the result of his sin. He also criticized Job for calling himself righteous. His theory was that no human was without fault or limitations. To Elihu, Job was arrogant because he claimed himself as righteous in front of God. Elihu, similarly to the three friends, had no heart to console Job, but to condemn him all the more. Elihu lectured that Job had no right to speak out to God. Elihu claimed that Job was to silently receive his punishment from God. He furthermore stated that the issue of suffering could be explained through God's education. Elihu added that Job should only listen to his wise words. But Elihu was just an arrogant man who wanted to preach about wisdom. Third point, Elihu told Job that it was wrong of him to complain about his suffering. Elihu claimed that Job was wrong not to admit his faults. He said that even if Job did not sin, it was wrong of him to complain to God about his suffering. He now started to lecture on God's righteousness. So listen to me, you man of understanding. Far be it from God to the evil, from the Almighty to the wrong. He repays everyone for what they have done. He brings on them what their conduct deserves. It is unthinkable that God would do wrong, that the Almighty would pervert justice. But if he remains silent, who can condemn him? If he hides his face, who can see him? Yet he is over individual and nation alike to keep the godliness from ruling, from laying smash for the people. Job's actual interest was on why God was not responding to his suffering. Job could not stand that God was silent, but his friends were only interested in spelling out their theories and sorties and condemning Job. And now Elihu claimed that Job was indeed a sinner. Oh, that Job might be tested 
to the unmarched for answering like a wicked man. Fourth point, Elihu advised to never stop praising God. Elihu's theory was that God is not influenced by human thoughts. If you sin, how does that affect him? If your sins are many, what does that do to him? If you are righteous, what do you give to him or what does he receive from your hand? He added that God does not hear the prayers of arrogant people and started to talk about how Job was an arrogant man. He advised Job to let go of his arrogance so that God may hear him. He then went on to talk about God's righteousness. God is mighty, but despises no one. He is mighty and firm in his purpose. He does not keep the wicked alive, but gives the afflicted their right. He does not take his eyes off the righteous. He enthrones them with kings and exalts them forever. All Elihu was doing was adding to the existing pain and the suffering of Job. For the cherry on top, Elihu advised Job to never stop singing God's praises. Remember to extol his work, which people have praised in song. All humanity has seen it. Mortals gaze on it from afar. Fifth point. Elihu did not make any effort to feel Job's pain with him. Elihu's final speech continued. He spoke of God's providence that unfolds through nature. God's voice thunders in marvelous ways. He does great things beyond our understanding. He says to the snow, fall on the earth, and to the rain shower, be a mighty downpour. He brings the clouds to punish people or to water his earth and show his love. Elias' main theory was that God leads all things through nature, and as humans do not know the full extent of nature. It was our job to be humble and admit that we are limited. Elihu went on and on to talk about God's providence, wisdom, and how it was important not to be arrogant. Listen to this, Job. Stop and consider God's wonders. The Almighty is beyond our reach and exalted in power. In His justice and great righteousness, He does not oppress. Therefore, people revere him, for does he not have regard for all the wise in hearts? As Elihu said, indeed, humans cannot know the full extent of God's providence or depth. But Elihu failed in that he could not contribute a single positive outlook on Job's situation. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tong Doc app. The Tong Doc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.